Hi everyone and welcome to the next part in the tech tip series. Um, this one's going to be a little bit of a quicker video. Um, so I know we're on there Christmas and uh, I don't want to stress anyone's brains today. So I thought I'd go over something almost basic. I didn't know you could do it in so many ways. And that is how to take screenshots in Windows 10. So this is something that's going to be useful for everyone with evidence in your work and stuff like that when you've got to provide um, level up evidence for your silver or access for all or even if you're uh, getting your MIE certificate screenshotted. Um, so what I'm going to do is share my screen and I have uh, how many ways do I have here? One, two, three, I have four different ways you can do it. Um, and like I said, a couple I didn't even know. So let's get going now. Share my screen. So I've got a test one note page open here just for chucking all these screenshots into. Um, so the first one I'll show you is uh, just a, a quick screenshot and how you can take one immediately and save it into your pictures. Um, so for this one, you might already know this one. All you've got to do is hold the Windows key and press the print screen button. And I'll layer that down here somewhere so you can see what the print screen button looks like. Because sometimes it says print screen, sometimes it says print screen or you know all kinds of weird different letters on there. So hold it down, press it, screen slash black, and uh, it will end up in your screenshots folder. So mine's in here, screenshot 37. I've got two screens, so um, you can see both of them in here. But open it, and when it loads, if you got one monitor, it will only be the one monitor, and it's immediately saved into your screenshots folder. So the second one I have down here is uh, just the normal method just press the print screen button nothing else it'll take a screenshot of everything and it'll store it in your clipboard um, so it's ready to be pasted anywhere so if i just control v it into OneNote, it's pasting there you go same thing again but instead of saving it into my uh into my pictures and screenshots i can just paste it wherever i want to Okay, and next one. This is one I didn't actually uh, know existed, which is probably quite bad. I probably should have done. Um, but for this one, you can take a screenshot of only the program you've got open. So here I've launched the calculator. Um, and if I've got this open, I hold Alt down and I press that print screen key again. Okay, it's cool. And then uh, I'll get rid of that. And that goes to your clipboard as well, so it's ready to be pasted now. So if I control and V, which is the shortcut for paste, or you can just right click and paste. Um, there you go. So that's not actually the app, that's a screenshot of it. Just straight in there and it works with all kinds of apps. Um, well, every app really. And that's just a really cool quick way and you don't have to crop or take it into paint and resize. It just it just works. Okay, and uh, this is me edited in from the future because I forgot to include my favorite method of taking a screenshot, which is using the snip and sketch tool in Windows 10. So um, the shortcut for this is if you hold the Windows key, shift and tap S, uh, that'll bring up snip and sketch. So you can see you can draw a box around it or a lasso. Um, so I'll just draw a box around the calculator app for this very important calculation of nothing. And what happens after you do that is it'll pop up at the bottom right hand side of your screen. Or so it should. So I'll just try that again. Windows Shift S is the shortcut. Drag around what you want. And no. So give that a go. Should work for you. Doesn't work for me. If not, just Open the search menu, type in snip and sketch, start a new snip, go around what you want. And boom, there you go, you've got it. So I can just copy it to my clipboard. Close calculator. And paste it in there. Once it loads, there we go. See, it does work. Um, you've just got to believe me. OK, so I know that might have seemed to be quite a, a simple video, but I like simple videos and uh, hopefully it's given you a few tools you can use to uh, 
to take your evidence without getting too confused about where your print screens are going and stuff like that. Yeah, in the next video.